rechargeable batteries only lasted about a week in the little weather center. So I don't want to have to charge these batteries once every week. So what I decided to do was hook two small little solar panels that I had from some garden lights up to it to keep the batteries charged. So I pulled everything apart and where the batteries come up here to the top I just soldered on my own wires to those terminals and drilled a small hole in the bottom and there's the end here. So I got these little solar panels here that came off of some garden lights I had before. They had a 3.2 volt battery in them. I put around them about 4 volts. So I'm going to wire these guys in parallel here to this and we'll get her all set back up. So here's what we ended up with. I had some, uh, some PVC tees that I put together here to bring the solar panels out. And the little poles that the solar panels were on before happened to fit perfect into a three-quarter by half inch reducing bushing. So I stuck them in there, ran the wires down through the inside there, drilled a hole out the back, and here I just have them hooked up with a terminal block now so I can uh, do some testing. I might have to put some diodes in here, um, but time will tell to see if I have to do that or not. But anyway, there is the Accurite Weather Center hack, I'm going to call it, um, to where hopefully now I won't have to replace these batteries or recharge them for many, many months. Right, you may notice here that I have three wires that actually come out of here, one ground and two positives. The way they had these batteries in here was they had a series parallel and then they were divided into two three volt sections. And then at the top of the uh, where you plug the batteries in, when I pulled it apart there was two red wires coming off. One went to battery one on the circuit board and the other went to battery two on the circuit board. So I didn't want to cross those so what I did is I just ran each individual solar panel to the one side of the the battery one and the other one to the other side of battery two and both the grounds were together as a common ground. Without the blocking diodes I don't know if these panels are going to draw these batteries down at night I'm not sure um, so time will tell here I'm gonna give it a couple more days it's been up here for three days now and I haven't got a low battery signal yet so uh, we'll see what happens and there it is thanks for watching